My name is Rodrigo Caldera. I'm from Nicaragua, and I've been here in the country for about 25 years. I started CIS in 2012 in the Somatic Psychology program, and I'm about to graduate in December. I've been fortunate enough to land a position in the field placement office, where I'm the clinic and sites manager, working with the director to help students find placements and also to inform students about the practicum process and support them while they make those decisions. Learning about the structure is really important because that allowed me to focus more on where I wanted to go. I'm in the somatic psychology department and I was interested in working from a somatic perspective. So I applied to the Center for Somatic Psychotherapy, which is the I see, well, the CIS clinic for the somatic psychology department, and I uh, was accepted uh, for the summer. So I started in the summer, and I worked there for a year. I felt that being at CSP was an extension of my program. I got to interact with different cohorts, different um, starting years. So I started in 2012. There were people who started in 2011, and towards the end of my placement, there were people who started in 2013. So it's a nice cross-section of the different cohorts that are, are all studying in the somatic psychology department at one time. So going to this uh, CSP was really nice because it felt like the container never shifted too much. So it was a natural progression into this role as a therapist. And also one of my professors, Stuart Gold, is the director of CSP. He was um, instrumental in also bridging that gap where the classroom knowledge transferred into the practicum space. So in group supervision, in the trainings, there was a continuity that felt really nice and we were all held in that somatic field and that's how we talk to one another, that's how we talk to our clients. They knew they were coming to somatic clinic, so they already had the awareness that they would be working with not just language, but also movement, postures, gestures, breath, awareness of what's happening, and the mind-body connection. Being at CSP, you don't know who you're gonna get. So I got to work with people from all over the world, different genders, different sexual orientations, gender identities, socioeconomic status. So I really was exposed to a diversity of clients that is great and really reflects what I would find in a private practice setting.